So I'm here, Damien, New Noise Magazine, Mostly Armist Podcast, here with Andy from Manchester Orchestra, Riot Fest Denver. How the hell are you, Andy? I'm wonderful, thank cool. you. Thank you. I, did you guys just get here today, or yeah. you've been enjoying the whole weekend? No, no. I just flew in uh, like an hour ago. Oh, cool. Do uh, You guys are like a road-heavy, hardcore, hardcore touring bat band. Do you enjoy these flying festivals at all, or do you like prefer the week, month, too long? I guess there's a little bit of like you're a little bit more prepared when you're on the road, but no, I mean this stuff's nice. You can be home for a little bit. And nice, enjoy nice. Enjoy yourself. Yeah. Um, so in the grand scheme of things, you guys are compared to like some of the bands like the Buzzcocks and the Descendants of Blade. You guys are a relatively new band. Yeah. What is it like to get to be a part of a big giant festival like this? As somebody, I mean, you guys have hit the road hard, but it's still like a relatively new thing. Yeah, for you guys. I think we're like in the middle of it. Like we're we're not, you know. We have, it's not it's about 10 9 10 years now but I don't know it's inspiring you know and it's it's comforting to know uh, the bands have done it we hopefully are kind of setting ourselves up to continue to do it for a long time yeah and so like when when you guys are sharing like dressing rooms with some of these acts do you get starstruck when you yeah I saw, I saw Bob Old earlier today oh, I was man. like oh god you know it's like but it, honestly it's at a point now where it's not even worth saying anything it's just like, sort of a you know admiration from afar sort of thing. yeah nice so do you get starstruck when you meet these people still yeah of course cool. yeah of course I mean there's nothing since we've since people know who we are doesn't mean that I'm not you know like still right. totally fascinated by people uh, so is there when you're watching these bands when you get a chance to is there anything you glean from their performances hanging out and seeing them play sure. that you uh, put into your own work sure I mean you know you sort of watch it with a competitive eye um, as well as an, a, a, an admiration um, and then there's stuff that you you know you've not seen bands where you're like oh my god we gotta try and do something like yeah. that you know it's all kind of incestuous that way yeah so as a young kid I, I assume we're pretty close to the same age or what yeah early 28 I'm 30 okay um, Very so close. what was your first festival experiences like oh my god like uh, as, a, as a band oh as a band yeah the first ever as a person yeah not flattering uh, <laughs> a lot of fuel and nickelback um Oh, but, wow. uh, yeah, eighth grade. That's okay. Eighth grade. That's a eighth grade. acceptable. Yeah. It's the only band that we're playing at the festival. Yeah. Um, ours was Slow Palooza 2006. Um, we were on like the small BMI stage, and yeah, we just walked around wide eyed, kind of. Oh my God! There's Ryan Adams. There's Jeff Tweedy, and you know, all that kind of stuff. Do you still have that? In a, I mean, you just said Bob Mold, but do you still have that now? As after ten years of doing this hardcore? Uh, no. Now no. it's like school. Yeah. You know, like it's more like being a senior in high school. You kind of know the road and stuff like that. Is, is it more work or do you still get to have fun and still have play? Oh my god, It's I mean it's work but it's also the most fun, it's the best job you can possibly have, yeah. so I mean it's a, you know, I, I really can't complain about anything. And what's it like? Because I've seen you guys at the Black Street before, small, <laughs> tiny club, yeah. I've seen you in the, everywhere pretty much. Yeah. What's it like to get out there and look at the sea of thousands of people? What's going through your head? This one's cool. Uh, this is like one of our best sets or, or set times we've ever had at a festival. Um, you know, really close to the end, TV on the radio, national after. So it's cool. You know, every year if you look at the big, you know, group of names we got from starting here and this year we just kind of pop up a little bit more. Yeah. With, how long until you guys are the headliners? Uh, ten. Ten years. Ten, maybe. ten more years. Cool. So you guys just put out a new record? Yes. What's the new record? I, our first, well, we put out a record called Coke in, uh, in April, and then we just released its counterpart, Hope, which is the same album, but uh, recorded completely differently. Cool. So with with a, with a title like Hope and whatnot, what are you trying to convey? Like, is there something to be hopeful for? No. <laughs> bad question, bad question. Um, so what's it? You put out these new records. The response is great. Um, when you go in to record a new one, what's going through your head when you're working on these new records? Uh, how to make it better than the last one. Yeah. Do you worry about that? How, yeah. how hard do you worry about that? Or is it not right? Constantly. What's the process like for you guys when entering in? It's, it's like a faucet being turned on or like food poisoning. Like you can't really <laughs> control it and then it's there and then you're, you know, you're purging. Cool. So who are you looking forward to seeing today? Oh, this would be great to see TV on the radio. Last time I saw him play was uh, Lollapalooza Brazil. It was like the sun was going down. And so it'll be great to see them play again. Cool. Well, that's about all I got for you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Andy, a pleasure. Thanks. Uh, thanks for the kind words. Yeah. Uh, where, are you, where are you guys headed to next? What's the next big thing for you guys? England on Wednesday. England on Wednesday. It's a lot of flight. Yeah. It you is. have a lot of uh, air miles yes, going? I yeah. do. Good, good, good. good. <laughs> where are you going to cash them in? I'm, I already am. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, on other flights that we have to use. <laughs> All right.
right, man. Well, it was good seeing you. I can't wait to see you guys take the stage. Thank you, buddy. So get on!